Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part 9 of my playthrough of the Resident Evil 2 Remake. Now, I want to put a few things out to you. Look, firstly, look at that on the table there. Now, I don't know if that's the Sheriff's hat, which it could be actually, or whether that's Mr. X's hat, because I'm pretty sure I shot his hat off outside this corridor. Let's have a look. A little look. Was it this one? Maybe it wasn't this one I shot his hat off at. I don't know, it's probably not his hat, but I noticed that the other day and it freaked me out a little bit. Right, what I've got to do here, I'm, I'm on the verge of leaving the police station here, which, to be honest, will be a huge relief. Um, the one thing I, I didn't know, actually, was whether... Let's see, I'm just having a look what i got here. So I could make some more... Um, the herb. I could make some more bullets from a shotgun but I'm more tempted to stockpile the gunpowder but I don't know it's a tough one isn't it it really is um, the thing I, I know I've got to do and, and it's filling me with dread I've forgotten to do something when you get this badge I need to examine it and on the back lo and behold is a USB now, if you remember, that USB is needed for the computer. And I have a very sneaky suspicion, which I pointed out to you in the last playthrough, that the Magnum may well be in that room. It's on the third floor, isn't it, Star's office? No, second, sorry. And there it is. That's the PC armory. And you see Lightning Hawk. Pretty sure Lightning Hawk is the magnum so i was contemplating going to get the magnum and i know that magnum bullets are like gold dust in this but i could probably take those liquors out with the magnum then i may very well be able to get those items out of the box and then i've got everything <laughs> i'm very undecided whether this is the path i should take let's store those for now because i definitely don't need these here but I feel in part of me feels like it's worth the risk. Um, so I'm going to go for it. It means backtracking. It means avoiding this bloody zombie again. If possible. There he is. I could do a shot to his head maybe to stun him. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> I thought that thing on the floor was moving there. But of course as well, let's not forget. I still got X wandering around here somewhere. Right, so I need to get... Maybe get up here. To the second floor. Now yeah, where am I in regards to the star's office? Yeah, I am on the wrong side. This is where I need to be, really, going that way. I can't remember last time if there was a liquor in there, which is freaking me out a tad. Of course, like I've said, a lot of this is Mr. X dependent as well, because I need to avoid him, like Plague. Don't hear him at the moment, but that means nothing. Okay. It's the other end of this hallway. I feel these are things I have to do because I'm not coming back to this police station again, I don't think. I don't like leaving items. No, it's not that one, is it? Is it that one? Oh, maybe it is that one. That's the library. Oh, okay, yeah. Now, I haven't seen him or heard him yet, which 
It's making me very suspicious. This is where I shot his hat off, isn't it? See, it's not there. I wonder if that was his hat. Now, I'm going to be careful around here because I don't know if there's a liquor. Nah, there was a dead one, wasn't there? That's right. Right. There we go. That's phase one completed. <laughs> and that didn't go too badly. I guess we use that. Oh, so cool. All right, I've got to take that back, I think. I don't know if I need to leave it in there. Because I'm assuming I need that for the special weapons thing that's downstairs. And look at this. Here we go. Imagine if I'd left the police station without doing this. Let us the stars members. <laughs> I knew that's going to be. Is it going to be Barry or... Europe is amazing. Mm, someone's travelling. Barry, don't even think about coming to join me. Okay, so it's not Barry then. Chris? It is Chris. <laughs> Claire tries to get you. Please let her know I'm okay. Oh, that's cool. Well, there it is. Look at that. Beautiful. <coughs> oh, that's when it said times three. It's because it's got three rounds in it. Do you know what I didn't do? Didn't bring my magnum ammo with me. Oh, I did. Yeah, there we go. So I'm assuming. Okay, we'll go down for the magnum. So now I'm not keen to waste my magnum ammo, to be fair, but I was wondering if it's worth getting the the hit pouch. I mean make sure I've not missed anything in here, like notes or anything. Must admit I'm not actually too keen to get out in the hallway. Right, let's plan strategy before we go. So, if I am seriously thinking about doing this, if we go back to the ground floor, obviously that's where I need to get. So, from the main hall, down the stairs, through the reception, and round that way like we always do. It's a gamble, quite honestly, because X, every time I've been down there, Mr. X has, has been there. So he's probably going to appear. But if I can kill the liquors, at least at least then I, I have that hallway to run into. So all I've got to do is give him the slip. I think it's worth the gamble. I'm just wondering if I should maybe consider going to the dark room first and doing it from that side. Oh man, so many decisions. I thought at least if I go the dark room route, I can save the game. I'm trying to think if there's anything lurking around here now. And obviously my major concern is I always know he's lurking somewhere. Rooms just down here. Okay, <laughs> made it to the dark room. <laughs> wow. Ooh, that was tense. Okay, so now I can put that away for a minute. Well, the storage won't really be a problem. Right. Throw a little save in here, so at least then I can change my mind if I want to. Uh, I'll go about as early as I can get. There we go. 
So I've got a good base now to see what happens. I don't mind really taking the liquors out one at a time. That wouldn't be a bad option. What I want to do is at least get one out of the way before Mr. X turns up. I know they're here. What I don't know is, is because I've attacked them before, whether they're still going to be pissed at me or whether they're not going to see me. Oh, so close to where I need to be. That went, that went too well. Okay, so it's one, o, oh, three. If he turns up now. I just thought it was worth taking the gamble to get these things. I mean, combat knives I can use on zombies to save ammo and obviously hit patch is always going to be a, a valuable thing there we go right now this is the scary bit I don't know where they've disappeared to sounds like they're right outside the door now Yeah, I may not be able to avoid them this time. But I might be able to shoot them from here. Okay, that one's dead. I think he's dead anyway. I need to bait it. Come on, you. Things with these things, you have to look up and down. I thought I could outrun it. I would run for it, but... Now we're up. <laughs> that went very well. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Definitely warrants a save, that does. I could never have dreamed that it would have gone that well. Right, now I can officially say it's time to leave the police station. And plan of attack is back up to floor two, through the shower, through the star's office, yep, and round to the lounge. That's where we need to go. Okay. I'm going to give it a few more minutes just to make sure that liquor's not lurking out here.
that did go. That went very well. Worth going to the second floor here. Oh, I'll just go the way I know. This game is going easy on me at the moment, which worries me a little bit because. Usually then that means it's got something nasty in store for me. Mind you, the parking garage isn't going to be a walk in the park. Well, I've just got to make sure I know where I'm going again. Where am I going actually? Is it third floor? Do I go up? So this is the trouble I had before. Now I've got to go down to the first floor. That sounds like it's X. He might be here somewhere. It would be pretty typical if he was around here, wouldn't it, now? Okay, got this zombie down here, mustn't forget him. Oh, actually, I'm in the wrong area, aren't I? Yeah, I've come back to this area. This is not where I need to be. It's the boiler room I've got to get to. Yeah, it's down here. Idiot. Through the press room. Oh, yeah. Which he made a nice convenient hole for me last time for. The other way, that way, through the watchman's room. Every time you have to scare the crap out of me, dude. through the shutter isn't it? in here which means I've probably got to kill this guy again I think he's still alive isn't he? yeah he can't get me piss off He's dead. Oh, well, I wasted bullets there, but I know it's funny. I just don't like sneaking past zombies. <laughs> it's not my thing. Um, I'll keep that on me for now. I think. 
Who are those out? Magnum rounds. I'm not going to make shotgun shells just yet. Probably should use the shotgun actually. Could have got his head off in one shot. Right, now I'm back here. Precautionary save. Something. Let's take these machine parts out. I don't know if to make shotgun shells. Oh, so undecided with this stuff. And I'll take the donkle as well. God, I'm assuming that opens a special parts thing. Let's put that in storage and take the mixed. And put that in storage as well. Uh, that seems pretty reasonable. I'm gonna keep both knives because I might need I might wreck one. Ain't exactly looking forward to going back down here. Because I know I left a lot of shit down here. Okay, left, there's not much of a wall, so. Oh, it's right there, there's nothing there. If there's going to be anything, it's going to be this way. Yeah, there he is. Ah, I wasted the bullet then. What room's that? Yeah, it's a firing range, don't need to go back there. We just need to get the hell out of here. Could have tried to outrun him, actually. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Out of ammo now. Maybe it's worth doing this bit first. I think one thing I will do as well is make sure I've not left anything behind down here. We're okay, I think. That could have gone better in terms of ammunition, but. I think they were probably something I have to get rid of because I've got to come back through that area about three or four times. As far as I know. Just trying to think. I don't know how actually I get back to where that... I might be able to get there. So that's the ladder that takes me down. Okay, can I get through here? Yeah. Okay. No, actually. Ah. So how do you get across there then? You gotta manoeuvre the lift, maybe? No, you can't do it. Okay, that's slightly odd. I don't know how you get back there then for that. Yeah, I think I had this problem before, didn't I? I was trying to work out how to get over that side. Hmm. I would imagine you must have to do it because there was no way to collect that stuff before. No way to jump across. Okay, well, for now, I do what I need to do upstairs. I just got the feeling that once I do that upstairs, all hell's gonna break loose. 
so I'd rather kind of be prepared. Hopefully it'll only be zombies. That's that's my hope. I'm not going to take ammo for the moment. Right, through here then. Take it out of the door, still locked. Yeah. That might remain locked for me, because maybe that's the door that only Claire can access. You just know at some point this zombie's going to get out, don't you? Seems likely anyway. Hopefully I killed most of the alive zombies. Back to poor Ben. Oh, I've got to examine these first, I didn't realise. Wow, make sure you even unbox them. Okay, do the same for that. Oh, now we've got a puzzle. Hmm. Okay. Goodness me, this doesn't look. <laughs> that's not right, clearly. Um, suppose that goes that way. That one goes that way. It goes up there. Is that not it then? Oh. Yeah, maybe. There we go. Okay. State spray is nice. Could prefer ammo, but never mind. Ben's memo. Station swarm with monsters. Even here, I can hear their cries. It's not the zombies I'm afraid of, yeah. <laughs> Codename Tyrant, yes. Once that bioweapon developed by those bastards in utmost secrecy think that that thing might be wandering around here. Chance are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. Mm. Yes, looks that way, Mr. Ben. Oh. Huh? You got a tape recorder. Yeah, but that doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I, I just find it way too coincidental Umbrella is one of the benefactors. You told me this interview was about the new scholarship umbrella setup. <laughs> Come on, that Nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G virus. Where did you hear about this? It had a big fucking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are you going to talk to me? Or are you going to. This interview is over. <laughs> Bitch. Wow, no wonder he got. Well, pretty much murdered. Yeah, it's the transcript. It's even got bitch written on it. Hmm. What are they after? That's not good. Oh, holy. F are you serious? How am I supposed to avoid these? Well, he ain't gonna grab me. Maybe he is. Tell me. My mistake to think I could run past everything. Well, that's not too bad. 
Oh, you must be kidding me. supposed to do that. Probably what I needed was a grenade. <laughs> Which obviously I don't have. I certainly don't have enough ammo to take them zombies out. Hmm. Starting to regret the decision maybe not to make shotgun shells. Yeah, this is... I'm just gonna run for it. Let's just That's run for it. Good. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was doing alright then. I knew you'd come to life at some point. Okay, that went a little bit better than I was hoping. Oh, yeah, of course you're coming there. Go, Ada. <coughs> well, you'd love to think he was dead, but you know he's not going to be. Kind of understands why his pursuit stops here, though. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Me. Nothing dies down here. <laughs> that's a very good point. I take it you have the key card. Yeah, and this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Let's get out of here. Ah, the classic movie line. I still want to get that star equipment. I don't really don't understand how I'm supposed to get that. You no. might want to open the shutter. Yes, I'm getting there. bullets no, guess not is that the intel you needed unfortunately no Ben didn't come through well what exactly are you looking for more info on the people responsible for this mess what about you? Trying to save the world? I told Lieutenant Brenna I'd bring help. Good luck getting that. She's not a very positive person, is she, really? What's that? Is that the lab? Road's out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Ah, the kendo gun shop. Going to see my old friend in here? From the first Resident Evil game? She knows how to pick the lock. What a mess. Oh, please God, let there be loads of ammo in here.
Oh, and that fills my shotgun. Thank you. I'll definitely take a grenade. Thank you very much. Well, there's a few bullets, but there's not exactly loads, is there? Look. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said, don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you all. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Oh, wait, uh. It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Dad. Oh, this is heartbreak, yes. Okay. This is utterly heartbreaking. Those fucking things outside. Look what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. Wow. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Oh, man. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. Good on you, Liam. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. I feel like I want to go in there and get the ammo. <laughs> How bad is that? I'm probably not going to get the chance to do that now, but ah, oh, maybe. I don't finish looking around in here yet. That's it, Leon. Yeah, you get your torch out in all the other dark places we go to, but you can't get your torch out in here, no? I don't think there's anything else. Sadly. No, I can't get in there anyway. Okay. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. This place looks a lot different, doesn't it, from the from the second, uh, the original game. Broken. She's the one at Umbrella Netflix. responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. Quite literally, if it's anything like the original game. I was hoping to find a massive stash. Based on what you've said, shot. the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks very much. Yeah.
Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. about three better than nothing I suppose right Leon will you get your torch out this is look at the alligator oh my god shotgun time where do I go then Oh, there is a way in there. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, typewriter, thank you. Oh, items would have been nice. Don't know whether to leave it here or not. I'm thinking actually when I next play the a playthrough, what I am going to do I'm going to store one of these knives, I think, um, is look up what I need to do to get that stars equipment because I don't like leaving that behind to be perfectly honest with you, that could be something that I really need unless it could be something that's an exclusive to Claire that's another option. So, in all honesty, I haven't got a clue. I'm going to have to look that one up because I'm really not sure. But I don't want to leave something potentially as valuable as that lurking behind. So, I will leave it there, I think, on this playthrough. I think I've played for about 40 minutes. Um, it's not the longest one in the world, but we are just about to start a new area after all. So, it might be a good time to leave it. Um, I'm going to play another one later on today. I've also... I'm in the, currently in the process of putting a part up and I've also got another part to put up after that so yeah the, the episodes are coming thick and fast I'm generally doing around about two a day but this is where I'll slow down a little bit because I have to work uh, weekends and it's now as I'm speaking to you Saturday afternoon um, I do nights so I'm going to be working in about eight hours time by myself in the dark after playing Resident Evil 2 yeah that's not really, a, not really something you want to <laughs> you want to experience is it really but no wonder I'm why I'm the anxious guy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, people. Take care. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. Take care. See you on the next one. Bye for now.